coming back to you with another one. And on this episode of Chronicles with Kinley, we are going to talk about entitlement syndrome. That's right, uh, legitimate diagnosis. Um, a lot of people are suffering from this right now. As a matter of fact, I saw it in action this morning in one of our prime groups. And at first I told myself, you know, you know, I really ought to on the screenshot this stuff and just take the name out or whatever and post it on my YouTube as a prime example of my views on entitlement. Um, and just as an example of, I'm checking out this bench, make sure I can sit down. As an example of somebody living, suffering from this entitlement syndrome, we have not found a vaccine or a booster shot for it yet. We do not have pills. Even doctors are having a very difficult time explaining to parents what's going on. So here I am right now, youtube.com forward slash Travis Kinley Lift, going to explain this medical diagnosis. Yes, today you can call me Dr. Kinley. First, let's just define it. Entitlement syndrome is when a person, who was usually born in 1990 or later, when a person desires something, anything, whatever the case may be, maybe they want a new car, maybe they want a new pair of roller skates, this person can be 20 years old, or this person can be six years old, okay? I've heard it from many different age groups. It is when a person desires something, anything, but they don't wanna work for it. Now, I'm not trying to work for it. And if I'm willing to work for it, I'm not well willing to do, I'm willing to do the minimal amount of work as possible. For example, if you say, I'll buy you a new pair of rollerblades, if you, let's just say, rake the yard, right? And after raking the yard, you notice a little piece of trash, and then you say, little Johnny, if you'll go pick up that new piece, piece of trash, that old piece of trash over there on the yard, we will then go to the store and get your new rollerblades. And Johnny says, I'm not picking up that piece of trash. That's not my responsibility. Our agreement was if I rake the yard, you're gonna get me rollerblades. I'm not picking up the piece of trash too. You can't just start adding stuff on my, okay, you need an example. I heard someone in the crowd say, give us an example, give us an example. I have just the example for you on this morning. Thank you. Um, we are going to move. <laughs> I'll be playing around. I'm ready to get on the road, but this stuff really does bother me. I'm very excited to be here making a YouTube video about it right now. So here we are at the first comment. Not gonna post the actual post. We're just gonna start with the author's comments, okay? I will tell you the post says something to the effect of, hey, once you give your bills to a customer, is the job done? Are you responsible to do anything else? Now, this person clearly hasn't been trucking for a while. Otherwise, that obvious would be extremely, the answer would be extremely obvious, but we're gonna go ahead and discuss this answer on today anyways. So we move to the first comment and this customer states that, uh, this, this author, excuse me, this commenter, this dr driver states, they are somewhere in Georgia, but the door that they want me in, there is no space to back in. Like he says, literally is the last spot. So you imagine driving down the side of the building is the last spot as you drive down the side of the building. And then he says, there's a park trailer right in front. So there's no room to do a U-turn. So if you drive down the side of the building, your spot's all the way at this, down at the, 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 the end of the building. Then there's a park trailer to your right. So you can't really pull up and turn this way because there's a trailer that way. Okay. And he says there's a truck next to his spot making his job more difficult. Now, he continues this comment by saying, he or she, excuse me, continues this comment by saying, so they act like they don't have anyone to move it, the trailer, and wanna give me a hard time talking about try again instead of giving me another door. So I said, y'all already have the paperwork, this load, is your problem now we're gonna go ahead and just comment just on that first comment before we continue let me say that load is actually not their problem it's not it's not their problem at all it's your problem that load is on your back it is your responsibility it's your problem we'll go back to little johnny if i say rake the yard you know and then you get your old blades or something of that nature and then you know the handle comes off of the rake well that's not my problem as the one who charge you with raking the yard just the same that's your problem dude that loads on your back you can't get dispatched on another load till you clear that call let's keep going 
let's keep going because it gets a little bit worse the next uh, 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 relevant comment on this post is a screenshot between him and uh, while he talks to his dispatcher his or her well, it's obvious now as he talks to his dispatcher he says heads up already spoke with the destination the consignee the 90 about moving the trailer out of the way they don't want to help me out or give me a number to call someone in receiving so I just handed them the bill so whatever happens to the load from this point is on them that's really not true though you see another another and 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 i'm not gonna go down this road too much but another symptom we are seeing you know uh, uh with this entitlement syndrome is that many of these people often do not have a a solid view of what is true and what is not true they will say things that are not true and act as if they are true it's an amazing thing we have flat earthers who believe the earth is flat they don't care about evidence there are people who will believe things that are not true but they will say they are true next message comes from sales and says look just move doesn't say look but it said just move the trailer per sales please they have no yard dog per sales for those who do not know, a yard dog is someone who is paid to move trailers around one specific property. So if uh, McDonald's, just named Walmart, let's use Walmart. If Walmart hired me as a yard dog, I'm paid to show up to Walmart every day on my day of work and I move trailers around the yard for them. We call those yard dogs. So, uh, thank you. So, I'm sorry, I had the important text. So, so dispatcher says, look, just move the trailer, big dog. It's not, Come on, cuz, like, dispatcher trying to, like, bro, I'm trying to manage a hundred different trucks right now, and you talking to me about one trailer that you can literally move in, like, less than five minutes. You can move it out your way and just dock and get your job done, right? But that's not what the author says. The author of this Facebook post instead responds and says, uh, hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's pouring raining out here, and I've already been drenched twice here enough to fill up a bathtub exaggeration i'll wait for them to put me in a different door but i do have a load going home that i need to take in the morning so i won't be missing that for anything you see the low-key threat there i won't be missing that for anything i'm gonna wait for another door i got another load i gotta get to in the morning so i'm not gonna do what needs to be done to clear this load right now instead i'm just gonna i'm gonna make a threat and say i'm not missing going home i'm not missing my load that goes home for anything entitlement the entitlement syndrome i have a desire i want to go home but i don't want to do the simple five minute work to get there now you'll have to excuse my passion but i was raised on work so there's nothing that burns me up than somebody who wants to work alongside me and think that they should be given what i have nothing burns me up more than that I don't like to be called lucky. I work too hard to be called lucky. This isn't luck, it's hard work. No luck trucking, that's why his dog on YouTube channel's named that. I told him when he, I told him when he said he was thinking about he was gonna name his channel that, I freaking love that title, dude, cause that's what it's like. No, but no, no, this guy, I'm not gonna miss that for anything. Oh, it gets better. So everybody's on the Facebook post telling them, dude, just move the freaking trailer. Like, it's really not even that serious, man. Why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? You could have, in the time it took you to read all the comments in the post up to this point, you could have already been docked and your trailer been shaking because they're unloading you. Instead, this person says, I'm not being responsible. I'm not being responsible for someone else's trailer. It's not my job to be their yard jockey, yard jockey, yard dog, whatever. See what I'm saying? Entitlement syndrome. If you remember my, uh, my video about uh, don't be a difficult trainee, this is what I was getting at, y'all. This is what I was getting at. This type of attitude where somebody else has got to baby you and hold your hand or do absolutely everything because you're not gonna go one inch over your responsibilities. You're not gonna take on more responsibilities because that's not my job and that's not what they're paying me for. Even though you have a desire and if you go five minutes over your responsibilities, you get what you desire, you're not willing to put that work in. Wow, wow. People just do not go above and beyond anymore. 
Next comment says, thing is, I just came from home time, but just trying to get back to drop my mom off, then head back out. But these people making me think about thinking about staying home again. Bo, stay home. Bo, stay home. Who are you, what, what, where is the threat? It's so empty. Prime don't need me. Come on, man. Look, I appreciate all the driver appreciation and all that fancy stuff and all of that stuff, but I ain't foolish enough to think Prime need me that I got, a, I got enough room I can catch an attitude. Does Prime need their drivers collectively? Yes, but dude, when I fall, somebody's gonna replace me, man. Come on, man. TNT trainees lining up, cuz. PSD students lining up, cuz. People in the instructor course every single week, week in, week out. What make you think Prime need you? Why you think Prime need you both? You wanna stay home, stay home. You and your mom go home. Don't just drop your mom off. Just go home with mom. Cause clearly you're not in my position where you pay mortgage. Clearly you're not in my position where you got mouths to feed. Cause people like us don't have room to just say, they just make me think about staying home. Golly, man. At the very least, people like me are gonna say, man, they're making me think I need to go apply somewhere else. But that entitlement syndrome says, just stay home. It burns me up, man. It burns me up. It, it, it gets on my last nerve, man. My kids will be a minority. I guarantee you. And I have girls and they'll still know work. They, they already know work, but they'll, they'll still know work. No way in the world. Are you kidding me, man? Move a trailer? In order to get out the terminal, I hauled the load that I didn't have a rate on. It was one mile away. It was nothing, dude. It was not, it was less than a mile away. Literally, you exit the terminal and you it's very, very close. Some of y'all drivers already know where I did, what I did. I didn't have a rate on it. I just did the load because it got me an empty trailer so I could go to my next load. And they were like, well, I can line you up with a pre-plan, but you need to get it empty. And if you want to get it empty, here's a way I know you can do it. I didn't have a rate for it. They didn't tell me if I was getting paid, anything like that. Dude, just do it, man. Same thing. I could have said the same thing. Well, that's not my responsibility to get an empty trailer for myself. Y'all supposed to just have an empty trailer waiting on me and somebody's supposed to help me back into it and somebody's supposed to back my truck into it and then somebody's supposed to haul my freight for me while I sit in the passenger seat and get paid. I know I'm being sarcastic and exaggerating, but golly, man, you see the principal stands. It's not my responsibility to get myself an empty trailer. Well, you know what? It's not your responsibility, but we were just giving you the opportunity to press on and press forward and keep on trucking and going toward your goal. But since you don't want to move toward your goal, that's entitlement syndrome. It's entitlement syndrome. If you think about coming out here, leave the entitlement at the door with, at your parents' house, wherever you're coming from, grandma's house, leave that entitlement there. If you got kids, make sure your kids don't come up with this entitlement syndrome. It comes from them not working at the house. It comes from them playing video games at the house all the time. Just in case, if anybody's wondering, there's nothing inherently wrong with video games. That's not what I'm getting at at all. But there is something inherently wrong with a child growing up with no sense of work. Now I'm gonna get off because I feel like I could do another 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna get off and cool down, go do my vehicle inspection, get back to work, work. But that's all I'm saying. Entitlement syndrome, man. You gotta cut it out, man. Don't come out here with that junk, dude. Don't come on no trainer's truck. We got trainees, I got one more for you, man. Trainer told me we got trainees out here talking about, well, since I get a minimum guarantee, only thing you got out of me is 400 miles a day. 400 miles a day? Bro, if you come to me with some 400 miles a day junk, you can get right back off my truck, dog. Talking about because I got a minimum guarantee, you know, you're not gonna get nothing but 400 miles a day out of me. And what, I'm supposed to carry your load the rest of the way? Entitlement syndrome, entitlement syndrome. Guarantee you, if you walk around with this attitude, you ain't gonna make it nowhere. Fella I used to work for, he'd, he'd be joking around, but he'd have joking around. He'd often tell you, look, I guarantee, You'll work for me a long before I'll ever work for you. Well, for those out here with entitlement syndrome, I guarantee you'll work for me long before I'll ever work for you. Find you somebody love, I love y'all. Don't forget, it's not about what you believe, it's all about why you believe it, and live free.